How do y'all? How y'all doing today? Welcome to another episode of Country Fiction. And today I was gonna do my own little review about the Game O Wildcat Whisperer in 177 caliber. This is her, and uh, it comes with a th uh, four by thirty-two scope, and it comes with scope caps, and don't come with any pellets or anything, but. As y'all can see right there, it tells you about it a little bit. 1,300 feet per second with uh, alloy pellets and everything. But uh, I've shot it a few times already and all. And got it a little bit where it can hit a box. And so today we're going to shoot it a little bit more. Shoot it at the box and see how it is. Just make sure it's good. And then I'll shoot a water bottle with the pellets I'm going to use. I'm going to be doing varmint hunting with it. So... The pellets I'm, I'm going to use are these here. They're the Game O hammers. It's the heaviest one in 177 that I could find. They're 15.42 uh, grain pellets. So pretty heavy pellets for a 177. So without further ado, let me get this set up and we're going to be going with it. Howdy y'all. I'm back. I got the, the target set up at about 10 yards. It's a box with a dot on it. And I figured y'all would like to see how I load it and everything from there to here. And then if, after I get it a few shots in, then I'll shoot it uh, with y'all up there by the box. And we'll see how that goes. So, we'll see how it does. The way you load it, make sure it's on safety, which is... This is your safety selector, so forward is off safe, back is on safe, it even says that on the bottom right here. So forward's off safe on fire, back is safe. So make sure it's on safety, then it ain't very hard, just break it back, take a pellet, that's a single shot, then you slide the pellet in into the barrel, flip the barrel back up and get ready to shoot. I'm going to shoot about three times just to make sure I ain't shaking too much. And then, uh, then I'll go see where it's at. <sighs> we'll walk up here see what is that like I say this is only about 10 yards out so let's see what we did it was shaking pretty good so but I'm pretty sure all three went right inside the little dot there and if you look on the back side right there kept a pretty good little pattern so we're gonna back it on up to about 10 more yards. And make sure y'all's backstop area is good too. You see mine's a hill. About 10 more yards. There she is. So we're gonna put it back up here, shoot it a couple more times. Well, yeah. Make sure it's good at about 20 yards and then uh Let's see how it goes after that.
know he meant to be this time. Good. Wait a second. Well, just looking through the scope, it hit the box pretty good on all three of those. So, uh, I'm gonna do a little few more practice shots and then we'll set up to do a little further. All right. That time I was aiming at the B, and this time I'm going to aim at the D. We're going to see what we get. The first time I aimed at the, uh, first time, I don't know why I picked that up, first time I aimed right here, you can see I got it, second time I aimed inside the bottom part of the B, and the third time I aimed at the bottom part of the D, and if anything it may be shooting a little low, but uh, it did hit where I wanted it to and it's about this is about 30 yards so now I'm gonna go get a uh, I'm gonna go get a water bottle and shoot it just for as we can say shits and giggles and see how it does and uh, anyway talk to y'all in a minute thank you well y'all the water bottle thing didn't turn out too good I couldn't get my slow-mo right so we're gonna shoot at a can see how that goes Now we'll shoot back at the bottom of it and see what we can get it to move a little better. Oh, yay. So, 
I would go to say at about 10 yards. She's pretty good. Uh, I was aiming at the bottom to begin with and just working my way down. And then I figured I'd shoot at the bottom again, see what it did with them pellets. And then two pellets hit here, of course. No, that's one pellet, sorry. I shot four times and then you see how it goes. But, yeah. Y'all see how it goes? Well, three there, two there. I guess I shot five times. I don't know all the good. Anyway, that is the uh, Gamo 177 as the Wildcat Whisperer. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If not, hope you got away and bs and watch my tail for a few minutes. Just goofing off. But anyway, y'all don't laugh at my shorts. I'm comfortable. In the meantime, y'all have a great day, great night, great week, great month, great year. And thanks for tuning in to Country Fixin'.